Welcome back. I'm playing Warhammer 40,000 Armageddon, and we are working on the Battle of Golgotha. I am just trying to figure out what I want to do, and I think I finally decided that I want to go with these Mordoran uh, artillery teams because I seem to be fighting a lot more infantry than I am vehicles, and the Mortar teams will definitely be able to get more kills than the Hellhounds at range of three. So that really should allow me to start fighting the shooters, because one of the main issues I'm having on the campaign so far is when I'm fighting the shooters, they can do enough damage to the Hellhounds that it does quite a bit of damage. Now, I don't have a lot of requisition, unfortunately, so I think I'm only going to be able to afford two of them. Uh, I don't want to totally get rid of all my guys, but I tried to disband the two Hellhounds that had the least amount of experience. And then we have our support fire guys here. So we're just going to always kind of set them in the back here and hopefully they'll get some uh, support fire to help us weaken down the enemy forces. We're going to have to try to use our Steel Legion boys here to soak up attacks. And I think the easiest way to do it is by keeping our mortar and forces looking unique. Then I won't get confused on which units are mortar and units and which ones are... Steel Legion units because the tanks all look the same so you'd have to memorize like oh this is Punisher tank number 15 that's my guy where is um, Punisher tank number uh, 9 is one of the uh, Steel Legion units whereas obviously with these guys it's very obvious which one is the Mortar and Iron Guard when they're all blue like this Oh, I guess they attacked already. Yeah, I wanted to take out the uh, Gretchen there so they don't keep reinforcing. Oof. Alright, that might be a problem. That Death Dread's gonna hurt me. Uh, he's gotta shoot a support. Uh, he's working on the Ogrins. Yeah, I think I gotta focus the Death Dreads down first. I'm most worried about them. Death Dreads can't really hurt the Bane Blades. I am a little worried about these support teams, though. Oh, of course, there's another vehicle here. I guess in retrospect, I did see that he had two of those Shooters attack it towards those Ogrens there. It's quite a bit of damage. They're down. Maybe just wait, and then I can weaken them down. Ah, of course, he's got bikers coming from the rear. Is just use the Bane Blades to push forward. I could send the Warhounds up the side, but I don't know if I want to necessarily be splitting my forces. Of 
course we got Ludas over here, which can do damage to my vehicles. Hopefully they're far enough away that they won't get triggered, though. Certainly seems to be the case. do have to split off to the left side here because we know they've got one of those victory points here. Alright, doesn't look like he's really got too much of scary forces over here. Slug us, so I can just sit back and flame them. Oh, shit. worked out well. Thank you for attacking that. I do not like that they seem to be flanking me on that right side. So we're going to have to be a little careful about that. We'll see if I bring those Bane Blades up if it aggros them or not. Now I got some Commando Knobs up on the left side. Ah, oh, shit, he has Storm Boys over here, too. Alright, so he's got more guys over here than I thought. Oof, I thought you were going to get the kill there. Tank came back. Oof. There's a vehicle over there and he just attacked my Hellhound. Alright, so much for avenging yourself, I guess. guys. Oof, tank busters can hurt my Bane Blades. Good roll. All 
Alright, we do need to clear out these guys, though. I'm surprised they didn't reinforce. It actually surprises me quite a bit. Try to get the optimized range 3 here so we can use our bolters. I kind of thought he was going to flank me on the right side, but maybe not. Makes me worried. Did he have more than one unit run down there or not? Maybe I should backtrack. We've had some couple of different missions here where they've sneak captured my... Yep, see, they are running. I was going to say, I've had a couple of missions now where they are sneak running down to try to capture a victory point after we started moving, so I was suspicious that might be the case. ourselves. Uh, you're injured. I think we should send another one down. I'm just worried. I'm gonna get myself in trouble. Gotta take out these damn death dreads. Alright, nice shot. Take down the tank busters. Reinforce. I can get you up to there. Basilisk and start weakening those guys down. It says you should get the kill. You lied. Alright, where are we on? Turn 9 to 25? I don't feel like I'm making very good time right now. Need to kick this in the nuts a little bit here. Uh, of course, there's an artillery piece here. Alright, we got that. I think the artillery pieces only have a range one, so they hopefully won't shoot me, and then those infantry can swarm them the following turn. No, well, I kind of was expecting to see a bunch of infantry over here. A little surprised, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, shit. Well, I guess I'm not using my Demolisher Cannon. Oh, maybe the infantry are coming back over here. I would not be terribly upset if that was the case. Ah, that does look to be the case. Oh, he's got his artillery piece. He killed one of Yark's chimeras. Let's see, are those shootas? They are. So everybody that can needs to get over here and get some range 3 attacks. I think if they're going to have a bunch of vehicles, I have to have those Ogrens reinforced, because they are going to be my professional vehicle killers. Ah, uh, they did ninja cap something. Alright, my intuition was correct. Alright, let's do the indirect fire. Perfect. Alright, they're down. I think we should move him up there to try to get some support fire. Alright, what do we got? So, okay, he does have another tank over here. Cool. Slap fight over there. Zero to zero damage.
Alright, nice. Didn't take too much damage there. Got that. Took that point back. Now I gotta get these Hellhounds back up po post-haste here. Because I'm definitely feeling like I'm not making good time. I've captured one out of four. Uh, am I going to waste 128 points? I don't think I really want to. Because Yark just automatically gets... restored without costing me points because he's a Steel Legionary. Oh, something got activated here. Oh, a lot of guys are getting activated. Alright. I do not really like that Grot tank. They are actually surprisingly good damage dealers. And I also want to take out the war bike. There we go. Good. Alright. I think I'm most worried about the shootas. I don't think the Burners are going to be able to attack or do damage to my Bane Blades. Uh, it's not great. Yeah, freaking work artillery. Dang, war bikes exposed my units, and now everybody's shooting into them. Ah, I was hoping you were gonna get that kill. All right, he's down. Now we take out the truck, and then everybody else can fight these guys. Because you should not take damage. Form a battle line here to try to keep them safe. I did that wrong. I spaced him out too far, so I didn't get to use a demolisher cannon. Uh, I think we probably need to keep advancing. Hopefully all the orcs that are coming are going to be the forces from this left side, and then I can just push it right away. Alright, so he's got a death roller, he's got some death dreads. He's definitely not playing. Alright, good. I just need one more damage. Come on, guys. There we go. Uh, all right, so we still got a little bit of guys over here. Damn it. I did bad positioning there, too. Alright, luckily I still got a good damage roll, so I was able to finish those guys off. That could have screwed me up. Because those death dreads can definitely hurt my guys. Get 
speak of the devil. Yep, here we go. It's the 100% melee version, so he gets a bunch of attacks. Percy's got those dang rocket things coming down too, because they can do decent damage to vehicles as well. Pretty sure that's the rocket variant, and not the big shooter one. Yeah, it is. Alright, good. I kind of hate to uh, put those guys at risk to the big shooter, but I need to keep advancing. Sorry about that, I had to blow my nose. Allergies acting up a little bit. Alright, so it's like this delicate balancing act here. It's like get some kills, keep advancing, but also get line of sight. Shit, there's a lot more guys over here than I thought there were. these guys are either coming for me or I just happened to bump into them. Uh, I don't know if he's got guys over here or not. Yep, he sure does. Alright, well you cleared those guys out. A little bit of over deployment of your forces, but sure I have enough guys to this right. Yep, they're definitely moving for me. Um, Ogren's there. You guys up here. Alright, they're down. Good. Ah, of course he's got guys over here in the trenches. I guess I'd be more shocked if he didn't. I guess we could just shoot into him, right? He's hopefully damaged enough that he won't be able to return enough fire. guys. Oh, shit. So he's got a war boss, so I hope they don't gang up on Yark or I might be in trouble here. Alternatively, they may just swarm my mortar teams, I suppose. Alright, at least we can start advancing up here. Okay. 
Shit, he's got artillery up here. So I guess we'll focus that down. And then use these guys to kill the war boss. Good. And that lava shouldn't be able to attack me. These guys should hopefully be far enough away, but I'm going to have to move this tank up to body block to make sure they don't charge out of those trenches and take out my mortar teams. Alright, obviously he's got forces here in the trenches too. Down here, it might bait guys to attack. Looks like it's kind of doing it, but they're coming after Yark instead, unfortunately. have all these guys focused on the war boss because really these other guys should be able to get some kills here if I can kill the war boss that'll affect the vision of the enemy units and I should just be able to mop them up we should probably just pull Yark back to be safe, since he definitely seems to be wanting to attack him. I don't think Yark is going to carry through on to the future missions, because I don't really remember Yark being a critical point of this campaign. I think he just kind of randomly shows up on certain missions, if I remember correctly. not great. Maybe we have these guys shoot down the lava just to make sure he doesn't start dropping the artillery on me. Alright, so we've taken out the north sector here. And we just gotta take out the east, which is pretty much done unless those shooter boys move into the fortification. He's trying to. Let's just move in there first, I guess. Attack here, attack there. Perfect. Now... We just try to weaken down these guys. And then I think you should be able to get a wipe and I'll get you experience and we got the requisition for another turn. Alright, victory is ours. That was actually a little bit of a challenging mission, not crazy, but just really had to redo some of those rolls to make sure I don't suffer a lot of losses. Now the one thing I'm a little bit worried about is if I carry Yark forward, uh, I sacrificed a lot of his experience thinking he wasn't going to come forward, so we'll have to see what happens here. What? Don't task me, orc filth. Tell me where your boss is. Ah, uh, the boss. He wants a word with you. One eye. No need for torture or threats. Go find Thraka. He's waiting. Then where is he, scum? That way. Signburn. We need to get moving. Where's Roge? 
Send the commander to find him. As always, your men perform their duty impeccably. Now the Emperor has need of you elsewhere. I think the Commissar views you as a talisman. Not that he would ever admit to such superstition. You are reassigned to Colonel Rogue's forces behind us. Head back and get him to catch up. Good to hear from you, Commander. But you must. But we must not tarry. We've suffered enough delays already. We meet to discuss the route ahead. Objective. Keep the road open. Destroy any orcs that attempt to block it. Find Colonel Roge and his vanquisher. You will need to meet up with him later. Nine core units and your company commander must survive. That's not a good sign. Alright, but it looks like these guys are all carrying through. So that is good. We've got a bunch of forces over here. And what did it say? Keep the road open, does not destroy. Do not lose your commander. I can't remember if it said that nine of these units had to survive or not. Uh, Wyvern. I can't remember if they have support fire. Yes, I think they do. Yep. So it's going to be like setting up a support fire situation, it looks like. I don't know if we have any new infantry necessarily or upgraded vehicles. We do have access to tanks, but again, I don't have the resources really to utilize them which makes me sad, given our losses. Um, I do kind of feel like I should be getting these guys their support, but it also freaking makes them so expensive to replenish that just chews through a lot of my resources, which I'm not sure makes a lot of sense. Um, these Hellhounds are definitely racking up some kills and helping us, but I'm definitely having trouble getting through the super heavy armored units. Is, uh, I guess I haven't even seen the super armor, the uh, heavy tier armor, I would say. Uh, there's Colonel Rose with his Vanquisher there. That's actually kind of nice because he's got the Vanquisher Cannon, which is a range 4 weapon. So that helps you take out a lot of those uh, heavy vehicles and things. But I'm going to have to call it quits here for the day. I hope you're enjoying these videos. If you are, please give my channel a like and subscribe. Curtain Force more content for you. Have a great day.